She is known for her prolific career in the film industry, starring in iconic movies such as Hester Street, Dog Day Afternoon, Annie Hall, The Princess Bride, and Scrooge. She is recognized for her Emmy-winning role in the television series Taxi, where she portrayed Simca Gravis. Her name is Carol Kane. In the world of Hollywood, one name stands out for her exceptional talent and unforgettable performances, Carol Kane, the American actress who captured hearts in the 1970s and 1980s. Born Carolyn Laurie Kane, her journey to stardom began with acclaimed films like Hester Street, Dog Day Afternoon, Annie Hall, The Princess Bride, and Scrooge. But it was her role on the hit television series, Taxi, that truly catapulted her into the spotlight. Portraying Simca Gravis, the wife of Lotka, played by the legendary Andy Kaufman, Carol Kane's impeccable comedic timing earned her two Emmy Awards. Her ability to bring joy and laughter to audiences was unmatched. As the years went on, Carol Kane continued to captivate audiences with her versatility. She took on the role of Madame Morrible in the musical, Wicked, dazzling both on touring productions and on Broadway from 2005 to 2014. And from 2015 to 2020, she graced our screens as a main cast member on the beloved Netflix series, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, portraying the eccentric and lovable Lillian Koshtupper. Today, Carol Kane continues to leave her mark on the entertainment industry. She recently took on the recurring role of Pelia in the highly anticipated series, Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. With her undeniable talent and infectious charm, Carol Kane's impact and legacy in the world of acting will forever be remembered. From her iconic roles to her ability to bring characters to life, she has truly earned her place as a beloved figure in Hollywood. In the bustling city of Cleveland, Ohio, a star was born. Carol Kane, the daughter of Joy, a multi-talented jazz singer, teacher, dancer, and pianist, and Michael Kane, came into the world with a spark that would later ignite the stage. Growing up in a Jewish family, Carol's roots traced back to her grandparents who had emigrated from Russia, Austria, and Poland. However, Carol's childhood was not without its challenges. When she was just 12 years old, her parents made the difficult decision to part ways. Despite this upheaval, Carol remained resilient and focused on her dreams. She attended the prestigious Cherry Lawn School, a boarding school in Darien, Connecticut, where she nurtured her passion for theater. After graduating from Cherry Lawn in 1965, Carol's dedication to her craft led her to the vibrant streets of New York City. Eager to refine her skills, she enrolled at the renowned HB Studio, immersing herself in the world of theater. Alongside her studies, she also attended the Professional Children's School, a place that provided her with the perfect balance between education and pursuing her dreams. It was in 1966 that Carol's talent truly took center stage. She made her professional theater debut in a production of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, where she had the privilege of sharing the stage with the exceptional Tammy Grimes. This experience served as a stepping stone for Carol, paving the way for an illustrious career that awaited her. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.